triceps tendon rupture. The triceps muscle is a powerful extensor of the elbow joint. The triceps muscle has three heads. The long head, the lateral head, and the medial head. The origin of these heads are different as shown in these diagrams. However, all three heads of the triceps muscle share a common tendon that inserts into the olecranon process at the elbow. Injury of the triceps tendon can be missed. Rupture of the triceps muscle typically occurs in male athletes, such as bodybuilder, football players, and in athletes who lift heavy weights. The injury can also occur from a fall on the outstretched hand. The tear is usually seen in middle-aged men. Rupture of the tendon can be complete or incomplete. Here is an example of a complete rupture of the triceps tendon. The rupture occurs at the bony insertion of the tendon. Patient may have pain, swelling, and some ecchymosis around the posterior part of the elbow. Common mechanism of injury includes stress from sudden increase in intensity of training, direct trauma to the tendon, or laceration of the tendon. Rupture of the tendon may also occur due to local steroid injection or may be due to history of anabolic steroid use. The rupture may also occur due to systemic diseases such as renal disease, gout, or it may occur due to previous elbow surgery. Other risk factors can include Cipro, diabetes mellitus, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and olecranonbrasitis. There will be a painful limitation of the range of motion, and the patient will not be able to extend the elbow against resistance. The patient may hear a pop, and the tendon may retract upwards and a gap may be felt in the back of the elbow where the rupture occurs. A squeeze test. There is a squeeze test for the distal biceps injury. There is a squeeze test for the Achilles tendon. And there is also a squeeze test for the triceps tendon injury. How do you do the squeeze test for the triceps tendon rupture? The patient will lie prone and the forearm will be hanging down with the elbow at the edge of the table. Then you squeeze the triceps in ability of the patient to extend the elbow against gravity means the patient has a complete tear of the triceps. X-ray may show a small bony avulsion. The flake sign identifies the avulsion and the position of the tendon on a lateral x-ray. As you can see here, the x-ray shows an avulsion of a small piece of bone from the elbow. That small avulsion is not a small thing. It is not benign. It is an avulsion of the entire tendon of the triceps with a small piece of bone. The x-rays can be helpful in the diagnosis of a triceps tendon rupture. However, MRI is the best study for visualizing the tear. Treatment of triceps tendon rupture. Establish the correct diagnosis early. Early repair of the tendon in acute cases is important. With delay in the diagnosis, primary repair of the tendon may not be possible and the patient may require tendon reconstruction with a less favorable outcome. Reconstruction of the tendon by a graft in chronic neglected cases can be done 
especially if the patient has a major disability in elbow extension. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.